Let's read this together. Matthew 28. Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. This is called the Great Commission. Everybody, repeat. The Great Commission. Why is it called the Great Commission? Because it is given by the greatest person who ever lived, Jesus. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So he's our commander-in-chief. And he's now telling you your mission. Go, therefore, make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. What is the primary verb of verses 19 to 20? What's the main verb? All right. From this day onward, I'm going to teach you. The Greek grammar is very clear. The primary verb is make disciples. Say that with me. Make disciples. What is going? Going is a verbal participle. It is supporting the primary verb. How do you make disciples? As you go. How do you make disciples? As you baptize them. How do you make disciples? You teach them. But what's the primary verb? Make disciples. What is the difference between making disciples and a Christian? The main difference. A disciple is a committed follower of Jesus. Let me repeat. A disciple is a committed follower of Jesus. It is not enough to help people believe in Jesus. You must help them become committed followers of Jesus. That is a disciple. Today, there are many people who are fond of Jesus, but they are not followers of Jesus. They like Jesus, but they are not follower of Jesus. Let me ask you an honest question. Do you consider yourself a committed follower of Jesus? Our mission is to make Christ committed followers. Why? Because it will impact your eternal destiny. Do you know why? The Great Commission is designed to help people not only come to know Jesus, but to make them follow Jesus.